Hello my friend, in this video I'm gonna talk about how Polestar purchased my Blender course. Yes, I know it is big news, it is amazing feeling for me as well, so I'm gonna tell you the story of it, and also I'm gonna share some updates about the advanced Blender car design course. I'm gonna need some ideas on the comments for this one. So how did it happen? How Polestar, amazing brand who did a lot of great stuff on car design field, purchased my Blender course. Thanks to you are watching my videos and supporting me constantly, Janos, who is responsible from the CAT team in Polestar, sold my course and purchased it. He enjoyed the course, he found it very useful, but I had no idea about it. Until Christian told me this. You know Christian, I talked about him and his book a lot in this channel. He mentioned me that Janos is interested in purchasing my course for Polestar design team and the 3D modelers team. I was like, wow, is it even real? Because I'm in love with Polestar design language, I love what they do on social media. I, I was really honored and I was feeling very excited about it. So he introduced me to Janos and we started having this conversation. We basically talked about the blender, how is it growing in the car design industry, why is it that important and that popular and what type of values it adds to design process. So long story short, we have an official deal with Polestar, so they purchased my course and designers and modelers in Polestar are watching my course. Of course, I have to mention that at that point, if you still don't know, I have my own blender course and it is available for you as well on my website and you can go check it out right now. So of course I'm super happy about this official Polestar collaboration and I want to say thank you Christian, thank you Janos, thank you everyone who was involved in this process and of course thank you who is watching right now for your constant support. Alright, topic number two. How about this advanced blender course? I've been talking about it many times and it's been a long time I'm aware of it and I just want to talk about it because it took longer than I thought it would take. The beginner's course was easier because I knew what to teach exactly, like from zero to model a car. It is simple, right? But when you put the title of advanced course, it can be many things. First of all, what is an advanced course? What's the difference from intermediate level? What type of topics should I cover? Should I start from again zero to, I don't know, very complicated car model? or just different complex surfaces modeling. I asked this question, what are the struggles about Blender after the beginner's course to my existing students? And I got some answers already. So I'm thinking about, should I go with only complex surfaces modeling or should it include also rendering? Should I also put some animation tricks or animation tutorials in this course? So should it be a huge package or rather than this, maybe smaller courses in different parts? More or less, I created the structure about the course actually, but I'm very curious to hear about your thoughts and definitely in a couple of months, okay, at least I hope in a couple of months, the course will be ready. To be sure, I will do this course in the best possible way to help you for your Blender journey. Please write down on comments what would you like to learn next after the beginner's level of car design modeling. And I'm also planning to share some of the process videos like the backstage videos of this course time to time on my YouTube channel as a short format or also on my Instagram channel. Honestly, it feels very good to share the news with you directly just talking head video like this. It definitely feels more connected and I like it. By the way, if you are wondering, this happened while playing basketball and nothing serious, I guess. Don't worry about it. Thanks a lot for watching the video until here. I'm looking forward to read your comments below. See you soon.